by here. Uh, let's see here. Do you know? Uh, do you know? Let's see. Do you have the surface area to set voltage? No, you don't have to know the the um, surface area to set the voltage. It doesn't doesn't seem to make a difference. The the voltage only has to do with the coloring of the titanium. Uh, but I understand where that question would come from. That's a that's a decent question. The, the biggest things are uh, voltage and whether or not you actually did etch the material first. Uh, the titanium seems really simple as long as you have really clean surfaces. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Nick Nick. Um, so he, he does do it, but he does not do custom anymore. So you're pretty much stuck with whatever colors he has. Um, and I wanted a, he, he used to do them custom. Uh, my, my other ones are custom, uh, but he doesn't do custom anymore. So. Hence, we're going on this little journey real quick. And I'm trying to find a good, decent chart to show. There we go, that one work. Let me bring this up real quick, screen three. So, <clears throat> oh, my audio is still there, yep, my audio is still there. So right here um, on this particular website, uh, you can see basically the voltages required to do color changes. It goes all the way from zero to 100 volts. Uh, 100 volts brings you up into the aqua colors and things like that. Blue gets hit on twice, uh, as do the bronze and the yellows and stuff like that. So uh, the, the build we're doing right now is going to be mostly gray and uh, a dark rust red. Uh, but I want to get a little bit of blue in there. And specifically, I want to get a really deep blue. Oh, blue zap doesn't hurt anybody. It depends on what kind of zap it is. First of all, <laughs> it's, not, it's not the it's not the volts that kill. It's it's the uh, amperage, right? Um, so, anyways, yeah. So, uh, based on the research I did, we're going to basically start around 15 volts. We'll shoot, we should put us right at the brink of going from this this kind of bronzy color to blue. Uh, and the good thing about this, from my understanding, is we can then basically work our way up from there. So if we start at 15 volts and it's not where I wanna be, or if it's where I wanna be, good. If it's not where I wanna be, I can then go up by a couple volt, uh, volts and see if I can get that uh, that color I want. So that would be pretty cool. That's where we're gonna work off now. So I'm gonna go grab my power supply. I'm gonna switch this over to this. You guys are gonna see how horrible this room looks right now. I'm gonna get some chemicals and stuff that are behind me. Um, uh, basically some 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 products here to clean what we got to clean and uh, some stuff to make solution we gotta make an electrolyte container for all this and, and you guys are probably getting seasick right now because this camera is going nuts I'm gonna turn the zoom off I think eventually on this thing but let me get that power supply let me get that power supply and I'm out of the camera sight. And I get the power supply. And I'm coming back. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. It caught me on the way back. Pretty good. All right. You know, the good thing about this gimbal marking so quick and stuff like that it makes it look like I move like lightning. So, so I got a power supply. Good thing to have, right? Not everybody has one, but I do. I already had it. Plus, I'm disconnecting these lights. Those don't need to be on right now. And get rid of that power supply. That power supply. That's a 12 volt power supply right there. Put these aside. I'm gonna plug this thing in. We have that ready to go. And I forgot to grab aluminum foil, but we'll get that eventually. Yep. So. Um, so what are we using? We have our, uh, let me check to see, oh, no questions. Um, we have a clean container uh, that we're gonna use to clean the titanium on. Um, I have for the electrolyte that we have to bake, I have baking soda. So we're gonna make a solution of uh, distilled water and baking soda for our electrolyte. Uh, we have a clear, clean container to basically make our electrolyte in. Uh, it is deep enough, hopefully. Oh, it's not quite deep enough. We're probably gonna have to do this once, we're gonna have to try to do this one side at a time, so that, that's gonna get fun. I could not find a container deep enough to fit these in without being massive. Uh, I didn't wanna make a five gallon bucket of solution using five gallons of distilled water, so I didn't do that. So uh, as an etchant, and this was, uh, 
we'll see how well this works or if it works very well at all. After some research and find out what we can do, um, I, I couldn't quickly get my hands on sodium fluoride or, or some other things that, uh, that you can use to etch them, but I found a solution of um, uh, basically 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide and cleaning ammonia uh, in distilled water should get us to the point where we have it just for what we're doing here because we're not looking to actually do a deep etch or anything like that. So that will clean everything up pretty good um, and it will give us a slight oxidation on the titanium which is what we're actually going to be um, anodizing. So that's that. All right, so I'm gonna switch camera so we get top down view so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing and like that, oh, we're gonna zoom that back out and redo this, there we go. And you guys are gonna be staring at that for a quick second because I need to get aluminum foil and gloves. Uh, so I will be right back, but you guys can still hear me. So if you guys have any questions about what I'm doing right now, um, go ahead and throw them up. I'll, I'll see when I get back here in a second. Just gotta grab the gloves and some foil. <clears throat> yep. And I have safety goggles down there already. So. Let's see. We got gloves, we got that. Let's get a rag. Get a rag and see what we can do here. All right. So first things first, uh, we're gonna set these inside of our solution. Um, and you know what? I'm not even gonna measure because we understand it's not all that important. These are household versions of these chemicals. These are not concentrated, so uh, safety is pretty good. Uh, the one thing, obviously, if you don't know, I'll tell you now, is you never want to mix ammonia with common household bleach. Because that will make chlorine gas. Not a good thing. So, ammonia kind of stinks. It smells like kitty pee. If you're wondering, if you don't know, it's very strong. Yeah, put my safety goggles on, safety glasses. Ammonia's right there. Gonna be adding equal part of water to this. Give or take. And then we're going to be adding peroxide. And then roughly equal parts. So pretty much a 33 and a third by 33 and a third by 33 and a third. <clears throat> there we go. All right. I'm going to put gloves on now. I guess the good thing about doing this is you can also um, anodize titanium screws. You so wish, pretty popular, which I would have done on my other uh, build if I had known this in advance. But um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of wipe these down a little bit. Seem pretty clean actually. that and then I'll give them a quick just a quick uh, green scrubber scrub and I'm going to clean them up one more time and then toss them in It's 
fuck with that? Man, I can't win. All right. That's okay. We'll get it on there. We got gloves. We've got gloves. So let's, 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 let's. Let that one sit there for a little while and we'll get another rag, but for this one, we'll, we'll just kind of wet these things down. I have no idea what I'm doing, honestly. So, yeah. Super interested to see how this goes. Yeah, what could go wrong, right? That's true, that's true. I can't use the X one anyway, no. Maybe we'll start there, right? We'll start with the X one, though. To uh, see how bad it goes. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna grab myself uh, another rag here for my hands. I forgot how much ammonia stinks. Oof. All right. Just let that sit with that solution on the parts like that. I'm going to grab our distilled water here. Who knows? Maybe the effect uh, that we'll get will um, we'll go from like a titanium steel color to the blue, which would be kind of cool because I can't fit them all the way in here. So I'm more or less doing this as an experiment too because honestly, I don't know how well it's gonna go either. So let me see here, we gotta open this thing up. Do, do, do. So from what I understand, you can use baking soda for the solution. You can also use uh, borax if you choose to use that uh, there's a couple other things you can use as well but this is what we're using today tonight uh, I need a spoon it's fun it's fun when you don't have everything you want at your fingertips because you're in the process of moving everything and rebuilding a room not that I'd have a spoon down there An off meat cereal down there, so to the kitchen and then back down. All right, it's fine with the ammonia, you don't smell it unless you're right over it. Well, let's uh re wet this stuff. So, I will tell you that I don't see much in the happenings here for the uh, move these aside. But uh, I guess the, the sheen's a little bit less if I had to say anything. So, seems like there's something going on. And there's a little bit of a, there's a process of some sort happening, I can tell that. Just don't want to put my head over that. Ah. A scientific stream, yeah. I don't know how scientific it is. This is uh, World's worst, worst Chemistry 101. So the solution that we're making here for doing this basically, we, we, we need to mix as much as we can until we have fallout. And when I say fallout, what I mean by that, if you don't know, is basically we've saturated we saturated the water with with the baking soda so no more can actually go into the the um, the water it's it's fully saturated and again if somebody was really into their chemistry 
one could probably have an exact measurement as to how much, what volume of baking soda can fit into this volume of water. Um, but as you can see right now, it's, it's actually clear, clearing up as I go because it's not saturated. Um, I'm waiting for basically this to get to a point where if I put more baking soda into it, it just clumps and falls to the bottom. I think we're getting close. Do, 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 do. Let's see what's going on. Nuno's still there. Super interesting to see how this goes. Me too. I know I said that before, but. Yeah. Of course, there's gonna be some people pop into the stream wondering what the heck I'm doing with a container. It looks like I'm making the, uh, some form of the white Gatorade or something. So I think. I think we'll let that set because I believe that it has reached its full saturation point. It will no longer hold any more of the baking soda at this point. So we'll let that kind of settle down for a moment. Put that right there. Give these things another wipe down. Keep my nose away from it because it stinks. And it is working. I can see in the solution where it's kind of darkening some, which is from um, material leaving the metal. So let me get these kind of saturated here. There we go. All right, we'll let those sit for another minute or two. My hands nice and dry, sort of. All right, and we get that. All right, so where is the aluminum foil? There it is. All right, so we need to make ourselves a. Okay, so we, we're gonna have an anode and a cathode, and is the movement of the electrons that is going to help us along here. So, do do do. Let's see if that's all the right size. Make it a little bit bigger. So back to, um, somebody had a question, I forget what it was, about how uh, how voltage or whatever it had to do with the size of the piece of metal, which it didn't really, maybe it was happy, I don't know. Um, but it, it does not, but um, the, the larger, or the better you're connected to your anode and cathode, the kind of the quicker things will go. Um, so I'll show you this real quick. This is my bench power supply. Right now it's set to, I'm going to basically set my amps up to max, uh, which actually we'll do max minus the fine tune. So we almost max. And anyway, I of course adjust this voltage up to, I think we said what? 10? No, we said 15. So I'm gonna set this to 15 ish. Like that. And I'm gonna put this, let's put all the electronics right next to all the water, huh? Um, I'm gonna try to jam this kind of here because it is kind of important to be able to see. I get that to kind of sit there. So what we should wind up seeing if this is this process is happening properly is the amperage on here should jump up uh, at the start of the process and then basically work its way down as that process continues. So. Um, 
we are got, I do have fallout on this by the way. Uh, it's kind of hard to see for you guys, but on the very bottom of this, I have a sludge now. So I know that that has reached its maximum. Um, I'm gonna check a couple things real quick. And yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me show you how goofy I look. How about that? Let's do that. Uh, yeah. Is that cool or goofy? You guys tell me. I need to know. It's funny, you get way less camera shy after you make a hundred or so uh, YouTube videos. In case, in case anybody's wondering about that. Because a lot of people don't like the idea of um, of being on camera, but tell you what, it's uh, it's a helpful thing if you if you can get used to it. So uh, our negative, our negative is going to be connected to our aluminum foil on our power supply, and the biggest thing we need to make sure it doesn't happen, and I'll probably get some electrical tape or something to help us with that, is to make sure that our positive and negative do not touch each other. So that means that we need to make sure that our titanium pieces at no point in time come in contact with our aluminum foil that's gonna be on the side. So I'm going to try to, do, 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 do. I'm gonna try to stick that. Let's just get some tape here. It's quite the rig I got going, huh? Let me bring up the uh, chat, see if anybody's saying much of anything yet, or if everybody's just waiting for me to kind of off myself. You are natural, yeah. Uh, I made it, what did I miss? Ha! Oh, you missed my camera, my gimbal camera. There we go. Back down here. It doesn't recognize my hand. There we go. Uh, let's see, what did Mark miss? Mark missed me talking about the fact that this room is a complete, utter destruction mess, because uh, I'm redoing it. Um, Mark missed, let's see, what else did Mark miss? Uh, Mark, that's Mark missed, that's a lot to say. Um, me mixing chemicals, uh, Mark has not missed, I got an idea here. Mark has not missed me um, electrocuting myself yet. So that's a plus, right? I think that's gonna work. Let me go back to that. And um, yeah, you didn't miss a lot. This is kind of a, a random stream. I re you know what, the, the actual reason for this whole thing was I wanted to know whether or not I look cool in these goggles. That's, 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 that's what it comes down to. So that's what you missed. So what I did is uh, I used the clip on the end of this lead to clip to the side of the container and to the aluminum foil at the same time. I think, I think that's gonna work for me. So Mark, just so you know, we're, we're attempting, uh, we're attempting to anodize titanium at home because I could not get the color I wanted from my normal, usual anodizing person. So here we are. We're in a foamy bath of, uh, of stinky chemicals trying to uh, make this all work. So we're gonna start off and I will, I'll go back just for you, Mark, and show you some other stuff that we did. But uh, we're gonna start off with this one right here. Goggles look cool. Yeah. Told my wife that. She she does not think, my kids and my wife do not think I'm cool at all. Do, do, do. All right, so I just dry that off on towel. And I am wearing gloves. And let's see, we're going to, so some people use titanium wire to do this. I do not have titanium wire um, on me right now. So I am going to attempt to use copper wire because I have heard that you can indeed use copper wire or aluminum wire to do this process. So that's what we're attempting to do. And actually I, I can't dip it all the way down anyways, so we don't actually need any wire to be honest with you, but We'll, we'll, we'll do what we're supposed to do, kind of, sort of, right? So, you know what? You, you try, 
sometimes you fail and sometimes you get it we'll see what we wind up with here today this might fail completely or it might be awesome you guys will know as soon as i do let's see here oh there's my wife she's wearing sunglasses it's probably my daughter if anybody wants to say hello to jessica bullier's name on there that would be my wife or my daughter or one of the kids or something on her phone so uh, all right, so we're gonna hook up our positive lead to the titanium piece. And we're looking here, we got about 15 volts, which should be about what we want. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, let's wish me luck, I guess, right? Um, let's see if this does anything. Oh, there's that amperage going up. Oh, I see bubbles. All right, and it's a quick dip, guys. I'm kind of excited here. Check that out. Check that out. That gives us the, um, that's that bronze color. Let's, uh, let me look. Man, science. Let's look at screen three again. So we're at 15 volts currently, and we are almost dead smack on exactly what we expected. That's pretty awesome. Pretty excited about that. Let me, um, let me bring it back to the, um, the other camera real quick. Do, do, do. So. You saw it here, I did not electrocute myself and we've got a very nice golden bronze on that. That almost looks like 24 karat gold here uh, in front of me. So I, you know, I, I don't think I got a zap, but I, I caught myself touching the metal when it was still near the water. 15 volts I shouldn't even feel, but just one of the things, yeah. Yeah, it did happen very fast. I mean, that was seconds, right? So I'm gonna go back in because it shouldn't actually go darker than that. It should kind of stay the same. Um, so we're gonna go back in and I don't know if it's coming out in video, but basically there's tons of little tiny bubbles that are happening. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper this time, all the way to the bottom. And I just wanna see from my own common curiosity if it remains the same color yes so it got marginally and i say margin i mean very 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 different uh, or, or lightly different uh, actually it's not now um, so the colors do match so voltage 100 percent has everything to do with it uh, length of time in the bath nothing to do with it so we know that so let's do this now let's since this is the most jimmy rigged or jerry rigged or whatever rig you want to call it um, version of anodizing titanium ever done live on YouTube in the basement of my home. Um, we're gonna do the, the bottom side. So, yeah. And let's do that real quick. It does look fairly easy. It's, you know what? I, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. No, no, I just make things look easy. It's not, this is very difficult. Do not try this at home. Um, actually, now I'm saying that, do not mix chemicals at home unless you feel safe doing so. Uh, I don't wanna get in trouble with the YouTube gods. Uh, what I'm doing here, I'm doing at my own risk, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm gonna have to put something in the description below, but yeah, uh, I did read up on it. This is something that I read up on for the past day or so, you know, so I have an immense knowledge on these chemicals and how this works because I read up on it for a full day, so. Yeah. All right, back to reality here. Uh, let's go back to this right here. Ah, uh, see, happy hell. I don't know anything about anodizing titanium. I'm along for a ride, yep. Oh, of course. <clears throat> All right, so, so at this point we have everything except for where I couldn't do it because my container is not big enough because like I said, this is the most ghetto version of anodizing titanium ever witnessed and 
we watch the, the, the unit over there. We're seeing that amperage kind of fall. It's sticking around five. And, and actually, we can probably pull that out now. So I think if you watch that amperage some, you can almost exactly, oh man, that looks awesome. I gotta say. So does that look like gold as much to you guys as it does to me? I might like this gold color. Let me, um, what do you guys think of that? How does that, what do we think? What do you guys think? What do you think of that color? I'm going to Walmart supply, dude. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, let's see, happy. Uh, let's go back to the camera here. So no joke, I got out of work today. I called the wife and said, hey, do we have peroxide at the house? To which she said, of course we have peroxide at the house. And then she found out we didn't have much peroxide at my house. So I literally went from work to Walmart and down here in this mess, and I'm doing this now. So you're 100%, um, you're 100% right, Happy. You, you can go to Walmart and get the supplies. Um, it's it's uh, pretty good, good like that. Let's, let's bring this up, you guys are talking a little bit now. Um, yeah, Bob's here, nice, yes, Bob. David, mint, meaning good, yes. Awesome. Why is my head cut off? It's one of those elevator things, huh? So let me, you know, this thing does not see my hand when it's in a black glove. I'm not, let's Michael Jackson this thing. So let's go single glove. There we go. So we got that fixed up. All right. Nick, Nick, does Walmart sell titanium backers? Uh, I would be willing to bet 25 cents that if you go to walmart.com, you can find titanium backers because uh, they're trying to be Amazon. Um, so anyways, yeah, let's let's disconnect. Someone dry us off real quick. Do, do, do. And honestly, yeah, guys, I want your opinion. What do you guys think of this golden color? This right here. So maybe it'd be helpful if I, <laughs> again, we, we have high quality props here on this channel. So I have a silver spoon and just to kind of show you what we're looking at for color difference. And it's dirty because I used it for the baking soda earlier, in case you're wondering, I wasn't eating cereal. So I, I think that's pretty cool, but I, do we want to go with blue? Do we want to try blue or do we want to stick with this golden color? I'm kind of torn right now. I need to know, what do you guys think? Yes, that is the X rail uh, and the X backer, uh, which we may or may not use depending on if we may or may not use that other piece. You know, we could anodize the inside pieces for the, um, we could, um, I hope it wouldn't screw up the paint if I did that solution on it, but we could anodize that too if we, um, if we want to get crazy, if you guys force me to, just saying. Uh, give it more juice on the side. X-ray, let's see, keep it, uh, I would keep it gold, honestly, but that's just me, okay. Um, I don't think it would bolt to the common anomaly rail. Yeah, I agree, I don't, I don't know that it will. Uh, that looks really nice. Gold look better in my opinion. Leave it gold, a lot of gold people, okay. All right, so, um, Happy is pointing out the fact that, and Mark, this is one of the things you messed, is uh, this, whoop, whoop, this X rail that I got, this custom X rail. Uh, this doesn't work with a backer and probably doesn't need one because it's going to be a heck of a lot stronger. Um, that's why we started with the X-Rail because it's kind of a sacrificial X-Rail. And from what I understand, if we wanted to, we could, we can actually scrape this off if we wanted to. So this is the X-Rail. Anodize everything. There's only so much we can anodize. All right, cool. Let's, um, let's bring that chart back up. You guys tell me what voltage you want to see next. How about that? Let's interact this thing. I always tell everybody I want these to be interactive. So you guys tell me, gold is attributed. Yeah, it is. Hey man, how you doing? Golden Jaguar is in the house. Straight out of Florida in Fabrico country, we have Golden Jaguar. Uh, you guys tell me what voltage you want. Pick a voltage. Uh, I can't go above 30 with this particular power supply, so uh, just keep it like 30 or below. So I can't get into the purples and the, and, or I actually can get into some purples before the blue, but I can't get in like those 70 volt or the reds or the 80s and stuff like that. Uh, just f uh, just for a test 25 volts. Okay, 25 would put us in light, light, lighter blue. All right, what do you guys think? Shut um, Okay, all right, well, 
there seems to be some muted opinions here. So here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. 56 volts. What was 50? How'd you come up with 56? I do not want it to be P yellow. It's not going to be 50. <laughs> Who said that? Midlife chaos. No, we're not making this thing yellow. What's wrong with you? All right, so, and there I mentioned, I can only go up to 30. I might be able to get up to like 32 or something, but I'll be pushing this thing hard. Um, so let's, let's do this. Let's, now that I've put my grimy hands all over this thing. Um, that's not good actually, now I'm thinking about it. Let's put another glove back on and re-clean this real quick. Let's re-clean this with some ISO. Let's use some ISO, isopropyl alcohol. All right, we're gonna clean this up because although I do wash my hands often, I'm sure they have some level of grease on them. So let's clean this up. Mm -mm -mm. It would look good on a black frame. Gotcha, with the uh, 56 volts. I, um, like I said, I can't go up to 56 with this power supply. I, you know, I'm, I'm game for anything. I, I'm limited to 30 with this particular power supply. I never actually bought this for anodizing. This power supply is for electronics and I couldn't think of any reason why I'd have to go up much past 24 volts. Um, maybe 48 here and there, but uh, they do make 120 volt power supplies. They're relatively cheap, but I did not buy one. Okay, so, um, we're going to, because it was mixed emotions there, we're going to, uh, we're gonna just go up a couple volts. Let's go from 15 to 17. So uh, let's crank this thing up a little bit. Oh, that's amps. Let's, oh, 18. Let's get to 17. Oh, 16.99. Oh, 17. Uh, it's close enough. All right. Let's see what we come up with. Uh, uh, let's see. Do you have a standard PEI? Let me get back here. You should analyze the same voltage as your stepper drivers. That's okay. I get what you're saying. <laughs> that would be interesting. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, I can see what you're saying there. You know what else we could add, guys? No, those are steel. Never mind. Uh, let's see here. Same part, I mean. Yes. Uh, do you have standard PI? Why are we asking if we have hold it? Oh, hold it up to P. Okay. Before I do the next dip, we'll hold it up to a PEI sheet. That's a good, yeah, that's a golden color. Uh, let's see. I got black PEI. There's some golden PEI. It's an old Physic one. Physic. I'm a German. This one's got a big old scratch in it. You guys can make fun of me. So there's a PEI sheet. And there's that golden color. Really looks gold next to that, huh? So, yeah. Anyways, all right, let's continue. I'm going to go it's too dark. Yeah, it's much darker than the PEI. But PEI doesn't really look golden. This looks more golden. Like I said, if the PEI was gold, it would be like a 10 or an 8 karat gold. This would be like a 24 karat gold. Oh, let's see here. If they match, it would be dope. I use black PEI on my printers because I like it better. Uh, can you re the same part? So I was trying to say, oh, can we re- Can we? We shall. Okay, so same part, re-hooked up. Uh, we're now at 17 volts. If you guys can see it and we're gonna do our first dip because when I dip you dip we dip and tiny bubbles so it's doing stuff do 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 You're just fancy happy. David and I, we're just, we just like the good old, we're black and white. 
All right, we'll pull that out real quick. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh. All right. All right. Let's see what we're doing there. So now we got definitely more like a bronze color. So you can see this golden color up here, and then it's almost like a uh, like a very clean copper color. So we go from a golden to like a, actually, if you held this up to me, I would tell you that this was copper. That looks, I don't have a penny to show you, but it looks like a very clean copper, not like a, like a penny copper, because they tend to look a little bit more red, um, but it looks like a copper, which is kind of nice. It's kind of neat. I guess not, yeah. Uh, yeah, all right, so that was 17 volts. So we're still moving through kind of the, the, uh, the bronze and the copper colors. So let's, um, this time around, just for experimentation, uh, I'm not going to drop this side in. We're going to, we're gonna move the voltage up to about, let's go up to like 19 volts. And let's see what happens if we do 19 volts across it. Does this color catch up with that color? It's kind of the, the um, what I'm gonna try to do here. Let's see if we can do that. So let's do 18, 19.08, it's close enough for me. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we should see gradient, but let's, uh, let's throw her in. So what we have learned that is different than what, or not exactly from what I've seen is, you can indeed use non-titanium wire, so you don't have to spend 20 bucks on titanium wire to do this. Um, you don't have to find any expensive chemicals to do your, your pre-etching. Uh, ammonium and, and hydrogen peroxide mix kind of one to one uh, to one, so 33% each to a distilled water. Um, seems to work pretty well. Okay, what do we got here? All right. So, working our way. We're doing a good job here. We're doing a good job. So now, we've got our gold. We've got kind of our copper bronze. And now we've got like this purple color. I don't know how that purple's showing up, but let me bring that PEI sheet back because you guys saw that next to that earlier. Uh, it's a pain in the butt. Uh, with the lye and the acid, aluminum is Yeah, I have lye upstairs. I like making um, pretzels. So there is the purple hue that we're getting out of this right now, which is kind of cool. And as it dries off down here, uh, closer to my finger, it actually looks more purple. Almost looks like uh, like it was flame treated. It's kind of the color, you know, like a like a really hot exhaust or something like that on a motorcycle. Kind of looks like that. So yeah, so that's that's kind of purple, and that's at uh, 19 volts. So we're just slightly under uh, what what the uh, what the chart showing us. So I'll go back to the chart real quick. So according to the chart, at 19 volts, we should be well. I guess we're 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 pretty close. We should be right about here. I don't know if we're we're in the same ballpark. We're pretty close. So as we hit 20. We should be switching more from a purple to a blue, which is what my primary and my first, my first um, was, you know, my first choice of where I was going to go with this was a blue. So let's uh, let's continue on with that. Let's see here. Science is so cool. Science is. Oh, I've got my goggles. I don't want science to have to catch up with replacing my eyes. Um, so yeah, science is so cool. So how's that look? See, there you go, next to the blue goggles or glasses. Yeah. So all right, we're gonna we're gonna pump this thing up to 20 volts now, and I will switch cameras here in a second. So we'll get there. And go gold and sleep on it if you can change your mind, turn up the juice. Yeah, I might do that. Now it's even cooler. Safety third, yes. <laughs> All right, so now we're at purple. We're gonna try, is that purple? Yeah, it's really nice. Um, I've liked all these colors actually, but I think so far the, um, the uh, where do we start at? We started at like 12 volts. I think just a step beyond that, maybe at like 13 volts would have been a really nice gold. But let's, uh, let's, let's hit this at 20 volts. So we'll see what we get here. 
So the big thing when you're doing this that you don't want to do is touch your aluminum foil. Uh, is my understanding if you touch the the, the anode and the cathode together, um, that basically the metal will deposit directly onto it and basically stain it. And you'll have to sand it away because you'll have actual, you know, a decently thick amount of, of metal on there. The aluminum will be on the uh, will be on the titanium. So 15 was start. Okay, so maybe 15 and a half, 16 volts. That's what we we'll go back to. I'm gonna let this sit in here for a second this time. By a second, I mean like a minute. Do 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 do. do. Let me see if I, can I switch over to this? So let me, I'll leave that in there for a second. And uh, is this a zoom lens? I forget. Yeah, it's already, oh, there we go. Zoom that one in. And sorry for the shaky cam, guys. And we'll refocus that, not on that, stop it. I want to focus on this. Let me get more center. That's kind of there. So I know you can't see it on camera, but basically it's bubbling up um, and it kind of shows you what's doing. So I would say now we have a very distinctive deep purple. Let me switch cameras again. So we are here now. And so there's the PEI. Don't mind the big scratch. I, yeah, don't look at the scratch. Um, that's the purple we're at right now with this thing. And actually as it dries, it gets more purple. You can kind of see it closer to my thumb as it dries off. <clears throat> so why don't we, um, why don't we max this thing out? How many car batteries do I need to go with 70 volts? Um, five and a half. Five and a half ish. Was that 52? That's 60 volts. Actually, you're gonna need six. It's gonna put you a little bit beyond. So five and three quarter batteries. So yeah, I, I agree, Nuno, that does look very, very nice. It's a nice purple. So if you're, actually, you know what? If Golden Jaguar is still here, we, we've hit the whole range of colors that he could use. We, we got the gold, actually, we got gold and purple on there. So Golden, you got you got to do backers now in your next printer, man, and get titanium backers and then watch this video so you know how to, uh, to an anodize them. Because you could do a gold, you could do, we could do whatever we want here. So another thing people tend to do or can do on these is um, you can re-etch it or you can even go back and uh, before you do this, put fingernail polish on it and kind of, you could draw patterns on it and do whatever you want to do. But as that's drying off, yeah, it's a, it's a nice shade of purple. Nice. All right, uh, let's see here. That looks very good. A rose gold color would be cool. Yes, I agree. Does Walmart let you return batteries? <laughs> Still here, I like the purple. I like the purple too. I like the purple and the gold. I like you. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Uh, that's. I, I would believe Walmart probably would let you return batteries. Yes, I don't, I think they'll let you return anything. So we're at, uh, we're at 20. We're gonna step this thing up to 25, which should definitely bring us into the blues. We don't hit blue with 25, then I'm gonna be a little bit surprised. So let's put this back in. So it's cool, you can see little bubbles coming up on this thing. Actually, yeah, you guys can see it. See see the, um, you guys can see the top of the water. See that, that motion? That's actually the little bubbles coming up. That's what you're seeing there from the process happening inside of it. So 
So we'll let that go. Let's see here, we're at 0.117 amps. So a 10th of an amp. We'll let that go until we get to about <clears throat> 0.05 of an amp or so. It's still definitely doing its thing. What I am finding is the, um, the more voltage that we use, the longer it's taking for that amp to draw, uh, for that amp to draw down. So, do do do. You don't follow me anymore, dang camera. Oh, let's see here. The amperage drops due to the oxidation layer buildup. Yeah, so basically, it's it's insulating it from from the um, from the metal, more or less. That's what I get out of it. I didn't read that part, okay? I, I read two articles. I don't know how much you guys are expecting out of me. I watched one video, read two articles. I do not have a research team. So demanding. All right, what are we at? 0.72. 0.72. Do, do, do. Let's see, 0.68. Oh, so anybody plan on doing some anodization? Anybody plan on anodizing some metal? Just, just cool, is anybody getting anything out of this? Just fun? I think we're dropping off here. I don't know if it's gonna go much lower. 0.63, 0.65. 0.63, still bubbles, 0.63 solid, 0.62, yep, for sure, awesome, good, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad this wasn't just for me, all right, ooh, <laughs> ah, that was the weirdest ooh that anybody's probably ever heard, so, I would say this looks like, this is kind of cool. I might be digging this color. I gotta show you this next to a PEI and next to original titanium. I thought, uh, I let's see, for sure, I had not thought about this before your stream. Now for sure, awesome, cool. It kind of plays into, um, I know I've said it before, but I have trouble doing it because you get a certain clientele of people watch videos and you, you, you get scared about doing other things because you don't want to put people off. I mean, there's not a ton of people watching the stream tonight, but timing thing on top of everything else. But um, yeah, there's, there's so much stuff I, I want to do and I like to do. Uh, so I'm happy you guys are, are, are enjoying this. Um, and I apologize I haven't electrocuted myself yet because I'm sure it's, somebody's here to see that. So let me um, let me switch over cameras here so you guys can see that. Yeah, I like it too. Um, so what's really cool about titanium anodization, I feel like I'm talking about a mortgage, um, is that in different light conditions, it definitely changes. Ooh, look at that. You guys, you guys can see that, that reflection. So, I'm liking this. This is 25 straight up volts. And let me, if we're going for a S-Man thing with the grays and the, you know, I think this might be what I'm looking for. So that that is that, is that alone. Just for comparison, because everybody here knows, or Pretty much everybody here knows what PEI looks like, golden PEI at least. That's next to PEI. Okay. And I think this is the kicker. I think this is where it's like, oh yeah, that looks nice. This is, I'm trying not to touch it, but this is original titanium next to the anodized one. So almost has like a similar hue. So when you put the, like the, the, um, the Z axis um, uh, linear rails, Looking at this with the grays and the steel colors and this, I think I like this color. What do you guys think? Bob likes the blue too. Happy likes the blue. So two car <laughs> two car batteries will get me where I need to be. Yeah, if you get a good charge on them, they're gonna be a little bit over 12 volts, right? Uh, they'll have to be closer to uh, 
it's 25. Or you could just buy one of these power supplies for 30 bucks on Amazon. I can put an affiliate affiliate link if you want. If you want to want to throw a, let's see Amazon affiliate link for something at $30 will pay me I don't know 32 cents maybe. <laughs> All right. So, since I like this, I'm going to flip this thing around because we are ghetto here and I'm going to attempt to get this far end to match the rest of this and we'll see how well that works and we'll, we'll also be answering that question on whether or not that that works properly if that is that something you can do because I don't know um, so we're gonna put this in and I'm also interested in knowing if that amp amperage changes as much with a little piece in there as it did with the big piece of so it, it is starting off high. So it's starting off. It's starting off, let's see, we're already down to 0 0.7, 0 0.07. So it's not quite as high. Uh, I have one of those power slides. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're good for electronics. Um, they're not necessarily for this. You know, you should, if you're planning on doing this and more in the hobby way. You probably want 120 volts so you can get that full range. I don't know, did everybody see the chart? I don't know if everybody was here when I built the chart a couple times, but there's a chart. <clears throat> and basically what you're looking at there is the different voltages and what color you get based on the voltage. Uh, we started off at 15, so I'm told, because I these fumes are starting, starting to get to me on this uh, ammonia. Not that they're harmful, but. Um, so anyways, we moved up from there. Now we're at 25, which should put us dead smack into the blues. I was thinking I was gonna be closer to the 20s where they had more of a deeper, darker blue, but it, we weren't getting that with the uh, setup I have here, which could have something to do with my electrolyte or my um, my etching. All of it plays a part, which is why I do believe that you should work your way up slowly when you do this. But anyways, we're, we're right here for a number, but I think we're closer to right here for an actual color. Um, if you wanna get into your more thing is it, it, it's almost like a rainbow it replicates itself kind of replicates itself so i think we'd probably all agree that the 12 13 volt area right here is very similar to the 61 62 voltage area but instead of going into a blue it then goes into a purple red um it's very difficult my understanding of getting into a deep red uh over which is well beyond 100 volts i think it's close to 120. um so yeah, so there you go. If you if you have a 30 volt power supply, you can do pretty much anything from the goldens to the bronze to the purples to the blues. Uh, and then if you have a higher powered power supply, you can get up some higher stuff, which I don't have right now. So it is what it is. Going faster, sure, I agree. We're at 0.45, let's look, see. What do we think? You guys are probably seeing it before I can, because, ooh, yep. That worked perfectly. This is that perfectly, let me disconnect it here from the lead. So that blended in perfectly. So 100% based on voltage, nothing really to do with time, nothing really to do with um, anything else other than in this particular suit, it, as long as you're using the same solution, same voltage, um, you can dip one end and then the other end. So. Uh, even if you can only get a container like I have here, and this thing's like a foot long, but it's hard to find a you know a long enough container to fit one of these things in there. Uh, and I didn't want to do it sideways because I couldn't think of a decent way to have it not touching the bottom um, or the aluminum foil that I was going to use in it. So yeah, so let me dry this off. Let me bring up, let me bring up, actually, let me do this. You guys are gonna see a quick video here because I haven't, I'm, I'm also working on my stream scene, so. Stand by real quick and I'm gonna do this for you. And then that's gonna go away. There we go, all right. Uh, yeah, we're there. All right, I wanted to get back to this camera and the only way I can do it right now is to play that first. So apologize for that, but uh, let's see here. So this is this is my 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 better my bestest camera that I have, and I just want to I'm gonna dry this thing off and kind of give you guys a look at what we got here. And I'm really really liking this. 
I'm really liking this. Won't zoom in that. What? Uh, there we go. So this is where we're at. It retained the grain from the titanium. There's a there's a thumbnail of it, a picture right there, right? If, if I wasn't lazy and I went back and changed my thumbnails after I did videos, um, but yeah, it saved the grain, saved it, it kept the grain from the titanium in the piece and everything else is good that's awesome yeah what do you guys think you like it hope you like it so i'm sticking with it next question is we're not really using this one do we try making one half gold and half blue or what do we what do we what do we want to try what do you guys want to see I'm here for you. I'm willing to do whatever. You want me to try to strip this one back down and do it again? Do you guys want me to mix some colors? What do you guys want to see? Let me know what you want to see. Everybody's either eating or went to sleep because I know some people are still on here. So there's a huge amount of people on this particular one. Uh, let's see here. You said it needs to be sealed. Nail pull. No, no, you don't need to seal it. Um, you, it, when I said the nail polish, um, nail polish, basically what you can do is you can mask off areas so they don't get the uh, anodizing effect. So if you wanted to, you could uh, you could like take a uh, a clear nail polish, put it on there, and then use acetone uh, to to take off the nail polish after the fact. That way uh, you can kind of mask out where you're going to get that. And there now that it's completely dried, it really looks awesome. Uh, let's see, do you know how I would go about getting a custom boron cube? Uh, are you talking about a uh, a uh, calibration cube, Zach? Uh, Max, sorry. Thanks for clarification. No worries. Um, Thirty was a lighter shade of blue. So you want to try the lighter shade of blue? Happy? Let me know. I'll do it. Does anybody else want to see a lighter shade of blue? More of a um, more of a uh, sky blue. It is nice. I like it. Kind of matches. Uh, kind of matches me. All right, let me know if you guys want to see the sky blue. I'll give you a minute. There's a little bit of a delay in the video and everything, so we'll um, see about that. If not, what we're going to do is try to do something funky with one of these other ones, but you guys let me know first what uh, if you want to see a sky blue. Well, you're saying, yeah, you're the one that asked for a sky blue. That's one, that's one vote times two, one guy. What voltage is sky blue? Sky blue, I'd say you start hitting around 30. Uh, and then you get into more of a real, you actually almost go back into a um, a light gold slash titanium color when you get back above 40-ish. Let's uh, bring the chart back up for you guys. Sorry about that. So uh, right here is 30 volts. So we're down here around 25. So we're getting a little bit lighter uh, and then basically get back into like an almost like an aquamarine I, I don't know a very light blue sky more of a I don't know what to call it watercolor yes and then you get back into almost like a non anodized at all and then back into a gold uh, blue color is awesome thank you Heather let's do it nothing to lose okay happy's pushing me over the edge so let's uh, let's try it Let's kick this thing up to max. What do we got? 30.87, as high as we can go. So, you watch, this is probably the coolest thing we do. All right, so. Let's dunkaroo. You guys ready? Let's put this in. Look for the bubbles. All right, she's a bubbling. Uh, let's see, we're at 0 0.14, 0 0.13, 0 0.1. 
something. And you guys can actually see, if you, if you look in there, you guys can actually see the reaction more than I can, because looking through the water, you can't really see the color very well. Let's get, uh, there's a lot of refraction happening. So yeah, point, point zero nine, point zero eight seven. How about we try to get down to point seven ish? Unless it gets there quick. Let's see if we get the point seven. Ah, we gotta refinish these things too. These actually might not be where they are right now by the time I'm done, so. Uh, let's see here, like we're doing here, hit that like button. Hey, look at that, people haven't hit the like button. Good for you, I appreciate that. <sighs> by the way, if you're, um, if you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're a member, double thank you uh, to the channel. I appreciate that, it helps out. Let's me sometimes do cool stuff like this, or at least I think it's cool, hopefully you do too. But anyways. Uh, we're down to 0.68. What did we go down to before? Does anybody recall? Was it 0 0.63? 0 0.063? Yeah? I guess we'll, we'll wait for it to get back down there because it should be similar, I would guess, right? Do, do, do. See, the sad thing is, is nobody's going to watch this video uh, after live stream. Well, um, so most, most people don't watch live stream videos after they go up unless you save them and then repost them as normal videos, which is kind of a shame, which is why I don't do a lot of live stream. Actually, I've been doing a lot this summer because it's just a little bit easier for me and busy schedule, but, um, yeah, anyways. Oh, happy. Thank you. If you're happy and you know it, welcome to the club. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um... We're at point zero six one. Let's pull it. You guys ready? She changed again. Man, I might like this one better. Oh, you guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. All right. I'll disconnect this so you guys can look at the I'll have to get a close up on this so you guys can see it again. Um, I'm gonna let this dry too. Do, 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 do. And if any of you guys have additional questions that you don't ask during the video, you come back and you're like, well, what the heck was that? Or how do you do that? Or what do you use there? Um, by all means, shoot me a message um, via email or um, leave a comment. I respond to all that stuff, so. It doesn't go un unread or anything like that. So, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna switch to um, this camera. And I'm gonna show you the blue that we just got. This is the more of a sky blue. This is me maxed out on my power supply. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you what the difference is between the two. So there is the darker blue here. I think it's showing up pretty good and the lighter blue. Which blue do you guys like better? Which blue would go better with gold? Where's that PEI sheet? <clears throat> oh, I gotta see it. Is it the darker blue that goes better with that or the lighter blue? I think the lighter blue would go better with metal. Uh, I'll just hold a piece of aluminum up. I think this lighter blue would go better with a metallic metal versus the dark blue. But with that gold color, if I do go gold and blue, I don't think that this lighter blue would go as well. What do you guys think? I'm uh, gonna have a lot to think about tonight. This is a tough one. You're very good at commenting back. Thanks for taking the time to respond, sir. Mark, you don't ask many questions. Uh, I get people, I, you know what? Hey, um, 
it's not a ton of people here, but uh, people are here. I just want you to know that I have people that I've had uh, email strings going weeks. Um, actually, uh, out of the people that I've seen comment on here, I would say, and I'm not pulling anybody out, and I'm not, definitely not complaining, but uh, Max is probably then the most commenting where we require response and some help here and there. Um, but I have some people that actually have been emailing now for a long time back and forth about stuff and you know eventually it turns into some types of chat about other things too but um yeah i if i have time i will respond just about to, to everybody uh, unless it's something that doesn't require a response or something that doesn't deem a response so um yeah what do you guys think darker blue or lighter blue it's like an eye exam one or two one or two two or one that color is so good. You like the light blue, huh? Uh, what else can I compare it to? Oh, we got black. So. There is a black extrusion. Stop it. A black extrusion with... Put that on there. This is the gunmetal blue gray that I'm, I'm using on this new printer. And this is the rust red that we're going to be using. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me bring up this thing. Uh, light blue for sure against the black. Lighter one pops more on the black. Lighter color. I'm gonna go team light. Really? What if we, what if we did some gold? Well, what if we did some gold too? Get that gimbal, a gimbal camera. It doesn't like when my hand's black. Come on. Hello. There we go. Camera doesn't like my my hands black, but what do you what do you guys think if we go gold? a lighter color? Honestly, still full for gold and black PEI, haha. Ha, but I don't but don't mind me. Okay, um, it's definitely gonna have a black PEI sheet on it. But even even with that red and that that gray, you guys prefer the the lighter blue? I'll make a rainbow color for all I care. I just care that it prints good. I don't want you guys to like it. Uh, let's see here, lighter blue. Uh, what if you did half gray, half red, like the printed parts? I can't get to red. Uh, I'd have to buy, I'm not, I'm not real. Well, for one, getting to that color of red would require well over hundred volts, uh, upwards of 120 plus volts uh, is my understanding. So it'd be very difficult to get that color red. And I'd, I guess at some point you gotta, you either gonna contrast a color or you're gonna try to match a color. And I think matching color would be really difficult. Uh, how much red are you going to have? Not a lot, honestly. Um, Mark, did, did you, and I don't know if anybody, let me let me grab um, one of the panels for the graphics. I don't know how many people that are on here uh, were here for the stream where I showed off all the panels. Um, where are my panels? Oh, here they are construction zone let's look at let's look at the graphic panels with the um, it lost me again this thing extreme close-up um, let's look at the graphic panels so there is red on the uh, on the graphics so so oh, what's it gonna do if I do this yeah it still kept me um, Let's see here, let me catch up. Uh, how much red are you going to have? Uh, gold light blue connected to an outlet. Man, you guys are really trying to get rid of me. Gold, man, gold. Uh, uh, use AC line voltage with a rectifier. No, I will not do that. Um, I could use a, you know what? We could use a stun gun. We get 900 volts into it. See what color we get with that. Um, Oh, I'll let that say. Do not, do not, do not use an outlet. 
you guys are gonna get this channel in trouble writing that stuff. So never ever connect AC power to anything liquid that you're touching or coming near. I uh, love the camera following you in the shop. Um, yeah, it's my camera guy. It's, uh, he works cheap. I got some kinks to work out. And of course, construction's on behind me, but uh, yeah, you miss that too. Uh, or kilovolt back there. Oh, having it. Could be gold for at least 300 volts. You know who, uh, did you read, oh, you did read it. No, those are actually 48 volts, by the way. Um, do you have a Tesla? No, I do not have a Tesla. Um, but that, that if I did have a Tesla, that'd be what, 600 volts, something like that? Uh, let's see here, light blue, light blue is nice, but I go for, uh, but I would go to gold. If you don't like it, you can always go blue. That is true. I wanna see, what we're gonna do, um, the streams, how long have we been going here? I don't even know. Do, 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 do. Oh, almost two hours. Um, one of my longer streams. So that's that. That is that with that. So blue looks good. I mean, you get the steel colors and the blues, right? Camera, the camera doesn't want to look at this. It wants to look at me. The camera's infatuated with me. So anyways, that's, that's the colors. There's not gonna be a lot of red, but there is some red. Ah, uh, yeah, sleep on it. It's your build. I know it's my build, but um, I can always build another one. <laughs> Super, what do you mean, Superman? Don't say that. You get me in trouble. Super Voron. No, there's no Superman. Super Voron. It's a little different. A little different. Um. All right, so. Let's um, let's do one last thing here. Let's let's go crazy. Let's um, let's try Scotch Brite in this thing. Colors remind me of Superman. Uh, Warren Trident, Warren Zero. Opinion Trident. I would do a Trident. Um, a Zero. I, I will I will say that a Zero is really cool to have because you can, especially for you, Max, if you wanted to. I already built a Zero. I have a whole build. Um, it's really cool. I actually brought my Voron Zero into work because you can you can set it anywhere and start printing with it. It's pretty cool. Um, I, I do want to, Zeros are fun. Yeah, they're fun. It's just a pain in the butt to build uh, all the screws in them, all the nuts. Anyways, we're going to attack this because I want to see what happens. Okay. You guys are going to be... Believe it or not, it's going back to purple. We're working backwards through the colors now. Ish. Ooh, you know what's gonna happen? So, actually, let's try this. Let's try, what does this do? I'm putting it back into the, uh, the light etchant that I, that I made here. Let's see what that does to it. So, Something cool to note. So you can easily clean off what you've done. It basically sands right off. So, and then you get kind of a, depending on how aggressive you are, you get, you switch cameras. You get kind of a, um, You get kind of a gradient as you clean it because I didn't run it all the way. So there's like a, a steel with a steel blue gradient on there. So if about the only issue I can see is it's gonna be hard to clean up inside of the, uh, actually you're not gonna see inside the screw holes because the screws will be there. So that comes right off, so yeah. You can easily clean this right back off. So if you decide you've gone too far, it's not a ton of effort. It's a little bit of effort, but not a ton. To back this down. And then let me re-clean it with this solution real quick. 
We're getting crazy here. It's kind of like the finale of the fireworks, right? So let's clean that off. And then we started off with 15 volts and then I think we went up to about 18. So let's jump down to 18 volts. Ish. We're gonna dip this in at the 18 volts and see what happens. See what kind of um, crazy colors we wind up with here. We'll see what we wind up with here. Blue to gold, yeah, maybe. I don't know, we'll find out. Ready, set, go. And she's a bubbling. All right, we'll see what we get here. Gold to purple, this is this, is this. I'm doing this for Golden Jaguar, because he could do, um, he could do purple. I could do, any of us, we could do purple and hit with a um, with a Scotch Bright pad, Scotch Bright pad, to remove that layer to a certain extent, and then re-anodize it to a different voltage to cover that back up. Link to the Discord. Mm. Stand by. Stand by. Link to the Discord. Uh, where is the link to the Discord? I forget how to get that. Link to the Discord. Invite, invite people. And copy. And that, and this, and then boom. And that, boom. The link to the Discord. All right, we're, we're already down to 0.46. So let's pull that out. I'm gonna pull it straight out so you guys can't see it. I wanna see it first. Well, that's interesting. So I will tell you right now, it did not go to the gold and bronze color. I don't know why yet, we'll find out. It went, maybe we overstepped it, we went to 18. We should have, yeah, it went to, I get to dry off. The color shows up so much better when it's dried. I should grab my um, my solder reflow. So it went to a purple. So there's a purple to a blue, which looks almost like a heat cure type thing. Uh <laughs> oh, we're yeah, we're anodizing. Yeah, this is uh, 3D printing and anodizing or us. So that, that would brought us back to purple. So I wanna I wanna actually drop it back down. All right, we're gonna get crazy now. We're going to drop this back down to 15-ish. I'm gonna take off the rest of this light blue. And we're gonna try to take off some of this light blue. Dark blue, light blue. And I'm using uh, this time around, just to try to make it go a little bit better. I'm using a little bit of my etching solution that I made up, my cleaning slash etching solution to take off the blue with the uh, scrubber pad. And what I'm going to try to do here, if you haven't figured it out, is blend a gold bronze into the purple. just as a, uh, a tribute to a friend of ours who for some reason, a very good reason, but for some reason decided he wasn't gonna make YouTube videos this summer. Not naming names or pointing fingers at anybody, but just saying. I think it'd be a golden opportunity to bring that up. Um, so, all right. I try Cadium playing plating when I was drawing my 71 240Z. It's a complete fail. All right, so taking off most of the blue, there's actually still some on there I wanna get rid of. Let me, let me try to get rid of more of that. It's 
So I will, I've, I've never played a metal before. And like I told everybody else, State Farm, I mean Jake from State Farm, um, I'm just gonna call you Jake. Um, I did a lot of research. I spent probably an equivalent of two hours over the course of two days reading two articles, watching five minute video. So I don't expect everybody to put that much effort into this and hopefully you understand I'm joking. But yeah, it's, this is, this is, this titanium thing is seemingly pretty easy. I'm gonna clean up pretty good here. I think that's good. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, let's try that. All right, so, so now we got kind of the purple into uh, just a s titanium color because that's what titanium is. And I've reduced this down to about 15 volts, which is where people are telling me we started. Why can't you connect AC to make it red? Uh, that would look cool. Okay, um, so for one, it needs to be DC power, not AC power. And for two, that would be a very big electrocution risk. Matter of fact, DC, even DC voltages, once you get up there, are, are not very safe. So we're going to take the, um, the top purple that we have there, and then it goes into a purple blue, and then I'm going for that uh, golden bronze color. So let's do it. See what we get here. All right, so let me um, let me see if I can get back on my gimbal. My gimbal. My my, my fancy schnancy chat stuff on the side over here. Here here here. Oh, let's see here. Tesla's here. Yeah. I'm in DC. I'm only 14. <laughs> Is that your excuse for everything? I'm only 14. You know that that doesn't work forever, right? Because I could say I'm only 45. That's a horrible excuse. Your parents haven't told you that. I'll teach you a life lesson right now. Saying I'm only blank is not an excuse. There you go. Ah, uh, see here. I know what it's like. Understandable. Golden Jaguar. What Golden Jaguar side? Tesla. Hey there, brother. Still around? Just busy with life? Yes. Okay. So we're down already to 0 0.039. Let's let it go a little bit further. So here we get Tesla, just so you know, we're, uh, we're anodizing titanium today um, because that's what we're doing. Anodizing titanium. And for some reason, this chat isn't coming up right now. Hmm. All right, 0 0.035. Point zero three five. Let's go. Yeah, that's coming up. All right. I get the um, the fade on that thing happening a little too close. I don't know if you guys are watching. Whoever's watching and that isn't on a computer, easy to type on, whatever. I got. Okay. I'll uh, see. The camera thing is cool, but I think it's giving me a slight headache. The movements of it. I agree. We'll get that fixed. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the zoom out and zoom in. I can do that and I'm going to change it from, you know what, maybe I can do it right now. I'm gonna change it from uh, fast to slow. So let me, let me see if I can do it right now. All right, AI, we'll get rid of the zoom and turn tracking speed to slow. How's that? Does it still work? There we go. All right, so I think at this point, we're probably good to take this out. And again, I'm going to, you guys can't even see it now. So I'm gonna take it out before you guys can see it. See what we got, ooh, ooh, kind of cool. Kind of very cool. It's kind of hard to, Kind of hard to tell what's happening here. I should probably take these guys out of this. Let me, um, that would make a good change. Yes, that's better. Yep, I agree. I just, you know, I got a bunch of stuff I'm working on. The room's one of them. 
um, adding some different cameras and some camera angles, uh, giving myself a space where I can actually do unboxings and, and talk about individual products uh, in more in depth. I still don't plan on editing my damn videos because I ain't got time for that. But um, trying to make things a little bit better for you guys. I never, I never actually thought I would have um, people that wanted to watch my videos. So, lo and behold, here we all are, right? So, all right. So, that's what we got. And you guys probably can't even see that gradient, but it is pretty much like a bronze to a purple to a blue that we just pulled off. And because I didn't clean off this end perfectly, it actually goes back to a blue at the very end. So it almost looks like a copper to a blue to a purple. Let's see if we can make this a little bit closer for you guys. Block myself out. You know what? Let's actually, I'll go back to the Sony. Yeah. So... There you go. 